I'm going to show you how to travel through the airport with your carry-on bag containing all of these valuable items, including actual gold coins, without any of them being stolen by the TSA. I'm going to show you how to do this very simply and very inexpensively so that you can travel safely and not be ripped off by the TSA criminals and thugs and pathetic pot-bellied thieves that work at the airports. So let me show you how it's done. My name is Mike Adams, the editor of naturalnews.com, and I want you to travel safe. So here's the first piece of gear you need. It's a cable lock system from a company like Kryptonite. Very inexpensive. I'll show you how to use it. You're also going to need some cable ties that you can find at any hardware store. Very inexpensive. And finally, you're going to need some kind of a bag or container that you can zip together that has a tieable loop on the zips. Because remember, the TSA they're lazy, pathetic thieves, so they want to steal things quickly. Something that they can put in their pocket very quickly. They don't, they don't have time to mess with the system that I'm going to show you right now. So let's get right to it. Alright, so here's my carry-on bag, and you're about to see the patent-pending Health Ranger method of protecting your stuff. So you take your cable lock, which in this case is a kryptonite little cable lock, and you make a loop inside your bag. Now you're going to take all your valuable gear and you're going to put it on the loop. See how that, how that works? Put it on the loop. Anything that you want to protect, just put it on the loop. Now if you have, let's say, a little box like this, how are you going to, how are you going to keep this from opening? It's very simple. You're just going to use a little zip tie. Why does that work? Because TSA agents are pathetic and lazy. They don't have time to mess with zip ties zip tie it and then add it to the loop and this is how you prevent your stuff from being stolen then you just attach it you're done TSA agent tries to open up your bag slip something out oh he's caught he's caught criminal alert and he can't steal your stuff unless he brings some cable cutters in his pocket which is very unlikely for TSA agents to take that kind of a risk but you ask you notice not all the gear is in here yet. What about the iPhone? What about the gold coins? What about the iPad? How are we going to protect those? Let me show you that next. Alright, for the gold coins, take a bag like this and put all your stuff in there that you don't want stolen. Let me show you why. This bag, the cable can go through a loop here and then through another loop right here on the end. You see, you see how that works? That makes it even better. Now again, this could be slid along the cable and someone could try to get in there, but it's going to take them some time to try to figure out. And if you want to secure that one more time, you simply take, guess what, another zip tie, which is very light, and feed it through the holes, and you simply zip tie those. Um, that's how you do it, and now that is completely secure. Once you, once you uh, attach that. Now let me show you the solution to the iPad. This is the last item. All you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of zip ties like this and you're going to make a zip tie chain. It's very simple. See, I have a long zip tie chain now. And you're going to take that zip tie chain and you're going to put that around your iPad. And it's, it's important to zip it almost closed in the center of the iPad and then simply take your cable, pass it through the loop, right? And then continue the zip and make it very, very tight. Now you haven't harmed anything, you haven't damaged anything, and now your iPad, now normally you would have a case, obviously, to protect this, but I'm just demonstrating this. And then you can take your cable and you can go ahead and lock it, and you're done. So now what you created in your bag is you have a a secondary sealed bag inside uh, with, with other valuables inside. You've got another enclosed container 
you've got all your valuables all on a giant loop, so nothing can be taken individually. Oh, TSA says, oh, iPad, I can sell this on eBay and make another $500, but he can't steal it. See, he tries, and he goes, oh, oh, I can't steal it. I'm terrible, I'll have to get the next passenger. And he tries to steal your camera, he can't steal it. This is how to foil the TSA. All right, now, anything that you don't mind the TSA stealing, you can just throw it in. Oh, here, TSA, have some chapstick. Here, TSA, have a AA Energizer battery. Here, have my hippie wig for comedy routines. So if the TSA reaches in, tries to find something that they can get. Oh, I can't get that, I can't get that. Oh, I stole a battery. I stole it, I sell it on eBay. And a hippie wig, yay! That's what you let the TSA steal, whatever crap that you don't really want. The rest of it stays secure. All right, now you've made it through the TSA, right? They didn't steal your stuff because you used the patented Health Ranger cable lock technique. You get home, you open your bag, here's your combination lock. You just set your combination at the right number, you open it up, you take the cable out of everything. Very simple. Now all your gear is readily available to you and you've got your camera, you've got your case, you've got your gear, you've got your iPad, just use a little knife to cut this off. You can even use a pair of fingernail clippers actually to cut this if you just want to carry that. You're done. All your stuff arrives safely at your destination and you have just denied the TSA the opportunity to steal more stuff from an innocent traveler. I'm Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, and that's how you protect yourself from the thieves in the TSA.